ਕੀ ਇਥੇ ਅਵੇਕੀ ਚੁਰੇਟ ਵੈਨੀ ਇਨ ਟੂਨਾਨੀ ਚੁਰੇਟ ਪਪਾ ਇਟਕੋ ਨੀ ਚੁਰੇਟ ਰਾਵੋ ਵੋਚੋ kia mato kato o jenni hui hui nai kite hai teri e kori e e ta e yo de de we we ti tuya ki ਤੇ ਵਕਾ ਵਾ ਪਾਈ ਤੁਰੀ ਕੀ ਤੇ ਵਕਾ ਵਾ ਮੂਰੀ ਤੁਰੀ ਤੇ ਕਾ ਕੀ ਤੇ ਵਕਾ ਕੋ ਕੋ ਮੂ ਕੀ ਆ ਤੋਨੂ ਆਈ ਮਾਤੋ ਕੀ ਆ ਕੋਈ ਤੇ ਮਨਾ ਤੇ ਸਪੁ ਤੇ ਇਹੋ ਈ ਹੀ ਤੇ ਵੇਲ ਹੀ ਆਮੇਨ ਆਈ ਆਮੇਨ ਆਇਆ ਨਾ ਇਹ ਤਫਾਨਾ ਕੁਇਆ ਕੁਈ ਹੋਈ ਮਾਈਨੇ ਨਾ ਮਾਈ ਫੋਕਟਾ ਮਾਈ ਤੀ ਮੈ ਤੂ ਤਾਹੀ ਕਿ ਤੀ ਆਤੂ ਤਾਵਾ ਤਾ ਕਾਵਾਵਾ ਤੀ ਕਾਇ ਹੋਮ ਮਾਈ ਆਨਾ ਮਿਆ ਕਾਤੋ ਤੇ ਮਿਆ ਤੂ ਰੋ ਕਿ ਆਤਾਤੋ ਕਾਤੋ ਏ ਅਕੋਨ ਆਨਾ ਈ ਤੀ ਕਾ ਪਾਪਾ ਈ ਤੀ ਨਾ ਆਤਾ ਪੀ ਕਿ ਮਾਈ ਕਾ ਕਿ ਮਾਈ ਹਾਇ ਰੀ ਮਾਈ ਕਿ ਤੇ ਮੀ ਹੀ ਆਤੂ ਕਿ ਆ ਕੋ ਤੂ ਕਾਤੋ ਤੇਨ ਕੋ ਤੋ ਤੇਨ ਕੋ ਤੋ ਤੇਨ ਤਾ ਤੋ ਕੋ ਤੋ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਿੰਗ ਯੋ ਕੇ ਮਹਾਨਤਾ ਆ ਤਾਤਰ ਫਾਨਰ ਬਰਿਨੋ ਮੈਂ ਮੀ ਹੋਕੀ ਕੀ ਆ ਤਾਤਰ ਐ ਮਾਹੀ ਅਨਾ ਹੈ ਤਿਆਕੀ ਨਾ ਤਾਂਗਾ ਤੁਕੁ ਇਹੋ ਹੈ ਔਰਾਂਗਾ ਮੋਂਗਾ ਉਰੀ ਫਕਤੂਪੂ ਮੈਂ ਹੋਕੀ ਮਹਾਰਾ ਕਿੰਗਾ ਤਿਨੀ ਆਇਤੂਆ ਰਾਤੋ ਕੋ ਹਾਇਰੇ ਕੀ ਤੇ ਤਿਨੀ ਕੀ ਤੇ ਮਾਨੋ tara reira haire haire atura rato ki rato tato ki tato hai heoe ano tena tato kato konga waka e me iho
Te Māori e mōrena ki a koutou, nau mai, hoki mai. Welcome back to our next session of Taha Māori, our third in the series. Uh, my usual disclaimer, of course. Um, what have we got coming up in the next couple of uh, sessions, which is today and tomorrow? We're still covering Marae Kaua. Uh, and uh, the Paipeta Tapu readings, of course, some of you have very lovingly put your hands up. Uh, and if you didn't put your hands up, we put them up for you uh, <laughs> in the sentences and colleagues. Uh, a little bit more on the pronunciation, not too much. I'm hearing really good sounds coming from uh, the readers, uh, the Kaimihi or Kaikarakia and Kaimihi. Um, really, really cool. Thank you. Uh, waiata himene and mō tea tea. Uh, and of course we'll unpack again that uh, himene that the New Zealand Youth Choir has just sung. Um, it, it's a lovely one. Uh, I can just imagine, you know, in your units, if you challenge your uh, youth um, gatherings each Sunday, show them that video. Put it up on the screen. Let them study it. Let them talk about it and challenge them to do it, um, just in case you were looking for an excuse. Oh, well, they're all young people. Okay, so <laughs> hand it over to the young people in your ministry units. The more te te, of course, is that one that they do right at the very beginning before they start singing. They're acknowledging all the people from all the four winds, really, all the waka. So uh, although you may not actually associate personally to a waka as such, um, what it what it really is saying is it's welcoming people from all over the country, all over the nation. I think it's a wonderful uh, expression, uh, including everyone on that waka. Uh, and of course, our usual topical discussions from Māori presenters. And so that the kupu, of course, of that um, of waiata that you just heard from the New Zealand Youth Choir, uh, as it says, calling to the people, uh, who have just set foot on the marae. Uh, and the marae, you can still use marae even if you're using it in a whare karakia. That is your marae. Wherever you are gathered, that's your marae. Uh, bring with you the memories of all the dead. We've discussed how we always acknowledge the dead, being a tini roimata and the many tears. Roimata is a beautiful, beautiful word. Uh, e maringi whanui e, spilling out forth, nationwide. Titiro ki ngā iwi, look at the people, uh, e ngā mahi mato working. E hora atu nei e, uh, spread it, all spread out far and wide, so everyone's doing their best, particularly in lockdown, particularly in COVID. This is uh, acknowledging those who, behind the scenes, we don't know where they are, and we don't know what they're doing, but we're acknowledging the wonderful work that they're doing. Ruana Tefanua, shaking is the ground, quivering is the sea. I mentioned this last week. This is a uh, adage or a, or a uh, expression of um, uh, non-complacency. It's about not being complacent. That uh, you know, the everything in nature, everything in creation continues to shake. It's never. We can never be in our comfort zone, twenty-four-seven, or three hundred and sixty-five days in the year. COVID-19 uh, is uh, an example of how we can never be complacent. We thought we were out of the woods, but oh, hello, the ground is now shaking and the sea is now quivering uh, and we must be alert and ready. And, and the love that we express as a result of um, people behind the scenes working hard to cope with the shaking ground and the quivering sea, the pain within us goes out in, uh, in our love. We express that through our love. Mea hatato i roto i ngā mahi o te rā, the purpose of our work, whatever the kaupapa is, so it's whatever you're doing in your context, the purpose of our work is to turn around and elevate all of us. This is not just for the, for the hosts, it's not for a particular person, it's actually for all that are gathered. Uh, you're actually elevating them. The word for that is whakamana. Mana is, uh, as you know, prestige. Um, 
Takamana is to um, to empower others or to give prestige to others, to hand it over, relinquish it from yourself and hand it over to someone else. And this is kind of what this talks about. Um, not using the word whakamana, but uh, that's what it means. You're actually building up the mana in someone else, elevating all of us, yourself included. So if you get a chance, again, I challenge you to take it to your youth in your ministry units and uh, put it before them. Give them a challenge. Go on, challenge them. Dare. <laughs> I'd like, um, you've all heard this before, uh, but I'm just going to keep it on the radar. Uh, I'd like you to randomly just unmute yourself uh, and I'd like to hear um, these uh, vowels being said. So let's, let's maybe two or three of you uh, give it a go, particularly those who haven't spoken yet. It'd be nice if you could um, unmute yourself and just say this ki mai maori ki mai a a ki mai e e ki mai e e ki mai o o ki mai u u ki mai maori ki mai a a ki mai e e ki mai e e ki mai o o ki mai yeah fabulous i'm still hearing some oh oh i oh, think oh. <laughs> oh. yeah oh, oh. yeah it's okay. the hardest one it's the hardest one uh to to lock in Oh, 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 uh, not oh, 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 thank you, that was wonderful, that was like a whole chorus, a whole choir of a, e, i, o, u, uh, ngā mihi ngā koutou. Uh, I've just brought up in front of you a uh, list of anyone want to tell me what these are? Numbers. They Numbers are. one to ten. They yeah. are. They are. Numbers one through to ten. The very bottom one, of course, is Tacoma. So that means ten plus. Ten plus. So once you get to ten, you need to now say, uh, 10 plus. So can someone have a go at telling me what 11 might be? Teko ma itahi. Teko ma tahi. Very good. Uh, 19? Teko ma iwa. 17? Te kau mai fitu. Twelve. Te kau mai rua. Yes. Twenty. Te kau mai mai te kau. <laughs> very good that's a that's a great effort thank you uh no but i haven't taken you to that next stage so the next stage is uh you put the the two in front of the teko so it's two tens if you know what i mean so it'd be rua teko fa teko ono teko Iwa teko. Uh, and so that's how you say 20s onwards. Uh, so you just put it in front of the teko. But when you want to say 23, anyone want to have a go at 23? Rua teko ma toru. Oh, kapai. Kapai. That's exactly how it's done. And so that pattern continues. Uh, anyone want to have a go at 42? Uh, 
Fatakomarua. Yes. Yep. Perfect. So I think you're catching on to how this recipe works. It is a recipe. Um, so once you sort of down pack your, your tahi through to tiko, then it's only repeating. Uh, I, I won't take you to 100 or 1,000 at this stage. That might be in another series. But um, uh, this, why I'm introducing this is to help you with the verses in, in scripture. And so currently on page 480, we have te pānui, kei te, and then, you know, there's this sort of indication that you've then got to give the uh, scripture. Te, whatever chapter it is, o ngā upoko. Upoko, it doesn't mean, it means the head, the top, the head. Um, at the beginning, uh, upoko chapter, ka timata, beginning at or starting at one. So, Song of Solomon is Waiata o Horo o Horomona. Horomona. So, Te Pānui, kei Te Waiata o Horomona, Te Tu o Ngā Upoko ka Timata. Now, this is just a slight nuance on what's on the uh, what's in the book on page four hundred and eighty. Uh, we wouldn't say Katimata tahi. It's it's not a said thing. It's not something that we use in our language, in our oral language. Um, so I've put a little nuance here to uh, for you to learn uh, fiti to a tahi, uh, uh, beginning at the first verse. Timata is starting or beginning. Kote fiti tua is. Um, or kote fiti means, uh, uh, fiti means to lift or to rise. Kote fiti. And when we're saying the first, first, second, third, fourth, twelfth, ninth, whatever, we actually put those letters tua in front of it. So uh, kote mea tua tahi, you may have heard that expression. I use it often. Uh, the first thing, kote mea tui tahi ki to tato atua i te rangi. Our first acknowledgement is to God in heaven. Te mea tua rua, ngā mihi atu ki a koutou. The second thing I acknowledge is you all. So often used in speech making. Uh, so to say first, you would say tua rua. So can someone say ninth for me? Tua iwi. Iwa. Tua iwa. And fourth? Tua va. Tua va, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, here we are now, we've gone up to Tekoma. Tekoma. And so, uh, um, when we're starting to go into, this is no longer beginning at the, uh, hang on, hang on. Te pānui kei te waiata o horomona, te rua o ngā upoko, ka timata, Kote fiti to a tahi. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But in this last little thing that a sequence that I've put in, this is now numbers 10 to 20. Mm -hmm. uh, timata, so now we take out kote fiti. We don't need to say first or second. We can actually then just name the number. Once you get to 10 plus, you just name the number. So ka timata te kaumaru. Ka timata te kauma iwa. Even though it is still saying the 14th verse, it's, it's, we just don't put all those words together to say the same thing. If that's helpful. Have I confused you? 
So that, well, they're the, those two things are the ones that you need to lock down. If you're doing verses one through to nine, quote uh, fiti tuarua, only on the verses, don't worry about the chapters. Because you would normally say chapter nine, chapter six, chapter seven, chapter 19. You would normally say that anyway. But you would say, katimata kote fiti tuatahi, beginning at the first verse. Uh, if you were starting to get up around 300, and, oh, well, no, that's a bit extreme, um, 68, then it's usually just uh, verse 68. We, it'd be rare, or I know it, it can be done that you can say beginning at the 68th verse. Yeah, mm -hmm. it can be done. But it's less common. The most common way of expressing numbers that high is just starting at 68, verse 68. Katimata uh, ono te kou ma waru. So just a, 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 a nuance on the way in which you introduced it, slightly different to the book, of course, but also staying with the book on uh, numbers 10 higher. Just want to take you uh, before we go into um, some of those readings from Waiata or Horomona. Uh, on pages 496 through to 498 are some uh, uh, further readings in Te Reo Māori. I've just taken a couple of um, a couple of passages from there, a couple of prayers from there rather than the whole thing. Uh, e tahi atu inoi, e te matua i te rangi, tēnei mātou te inoi atu nei mō tāu hāhi, i runga i te ingoa o tāu tama, u ihu paraiti te upoko o te hāhi. This is our prayer for our hāhi. Beautiful. Uh, I'm not unpacking at all. Here's a prayer from page 497, which is we pray for the world. So this, the sequencing is the same as our other uh, liturgies. But here's just another alternative of prayers. Uh, te tahi ki te tahi is a wonderful expression to each other. We meet kanohi ki te kanohi face to face, te tahi ki te tahi with each other to each other. We talk to each other. And on page 498 is the um, Be the Lamp on My Feet. In this time of sadness, understanding, turmoil, happiness. I ngā wā o te pauri, o te mārama, o te raru, o te hari. A whinatia mai mātou e te matua i te rangi, kia manako ki tō aroha, kia mahi i au mahi, kia whakapai i tō ingoa, i roto i a ihu karaiti i te ariki. Amen. I just wanted to point those uh, prayers out for you on those pages, uh, through to 498. It's part of the um, sort of you know, added on, uh, not within the um, current um, liturgies or Eucharist liturgies. Mm. So, of course, we've got Te Wiki or Te Reo coming up. Mm -hmm. And um, just an apology, actually, from last week in that our submission to Te Wiki or Te Reo in 2020 was, in fact, a 40-minute compilation of Tahamari Ellison participants, contrary to what I was telling you last week. Uh, and that included mihi, karakia, and various pre-recorded waiata. It was fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Very much like what we're learning in this series, but it was put together. I, I never said a word in it which was even better, done by the LSM participants. Um, it included mihi, krakia, and various pre-recorded waiata. Uh, and our many thanks for that blessing. 
Nga Mihi to the LSM uh, units. Uh, from this, we were inspired to roll out the earlier 2021 My Mihi. Some of you uh, gathered here were part of that um, with recordings, um, yeah, with some of you involved. And that was awesome too. Really awesome. Uh, Nga Mihi. Nui. So here we are looking for a current lockdown version of you. <laughs> your compilation, your smile, your warmth, your efforts, your learnings. And thank you to those who have already submitted. Uh, so we're just looking for a short mihi, karakia. I'm not going to provide it for you. I think you've got enough resources uh, in Tahamaru to actually grab some stuff from there. Um, and some of you have so graciously uh, participated and read out some of those formal um, mihi and karakia. Uh, waiata himine, and of course, closing with the grace. If you could keep that within a two or three minute uh, compilation, uh, preferably in an MP4, uh, you will have received an email where you can upload it into a Dropbox facility that Megan and I can access and then we can start um, producing the video. Uh, and if you were able to do that by the 10th of September, that would be just a blessing, just a blessing to Tahamari to yourselves and giving all glory and honor to God. And so again, thank you to those who have already submitted. And I just wanna give you a little snippet to spur you on. And I didn't pre-warn the uh, person who's done this, but uh, 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 given that he's um, already uh, handed it over to us, well, we can show it when we like. <laughs> Tēnā koe, ko Fraser McDiamond toku ingoa, no ko te rana o kutipuna, ke te noho o ki tamaki makaurau. E te atua, Manaki mai, e te atua, afina mai, e te atua, aroha mai, ake, 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 amini. O atarua te kou mā toru, ko ihuwa tō kuhepera, e kore ahau e hapa, ko ia hei mea ki a takoto ahau, I ngā wāhi taru taru hau, i ārahi ana ia ia hau, i te taha o ngā wai ata rere. Kia tau, tia tātou katoa, te atawhai o tau tātou ariki, o ihu karaiti, me te aroha o te atua, me te whiwhinga tāhitanga ki te wairua tapu, Ake, ake, ake. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. So that's our very own Fraser, who's been with us in this uh, series. Uh, well done. Mahi tikana. Good work, uh, Fraser. That's kind of what we're looking for. That was a little under two minutes. Uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, uh, the whole karakia, just a couple of uh, verses. He did a very short mihi. Uh, beautiful. Uh, and he, instead of singing, uh, um, he decided to do Psalm 23, two or three verses from Psalm 23, which is Waiata, uh, Rua, Tikau, Ma Toru. Uh, so he chose that as his Waiata, Himene, and then he closed with the grace. So uh, thank you, Fraser. I hope that inspires you to uh, come up with uh, a compilation of your own. Uh, and as I say, that that whole thing, I think, uh, in, from memory was one minute and 19 or one minute and 20 seconds. So well within the time frame. So don't be too daunted that you've got to do a documentary. <laughs> Kia ora. So coming back to Marae Kawa and Tikanga thus far, um, we've done Karanga, of course, uh, that was in the first one. And then la last week we talked about Karakia or our presenters uh, talked about uh, karakia and the importance of karakia on marae. Uh, 
the importance of karakia in all manner. That is not just Māori, that's all of us, really. Uh, but it's a sharing about, uh, you know, the uh, activities and the uh, ambience and the contextual uh, gatherings at on marae, which, of course, your marae is your whare karakia. But we now move to uh, Fai Kōrero. The Fai Kōrero is undertaken by Kai Kōrero. So you've heard the expression Kai Karakia, that's someone who does the prayers, a liturgist perhaps, Kai Karakia. You've heard Kai Fakamana, that's somebody who empowers someone else, gives, you know, uh, elevates the mana of someone else. This one is Kai Kōrero, a speaker. Uh, and then we'll, we'll include the karakia if someone hasn't already done it. So the Fai Kōrero does include a karakia if someone else hasn't already been assigned to do it specifically. Yeah. Fai Kōrero are formal speeches generally made by men during pōwhiri and in social grab gatherings. In, sub in some tribal areas, though, women are also Fai Kōrero. The Fai Kōrero is an opportunity for the speaker to display his or her mastery with te reo Māori. And a competent speaker is able to embellish their speech with imagery and metaphors. As in part of our formal weekly mihi that we do each week, the basic format for Fai Kōrero is tau parapara or mō tea tea a chant suitable to the purpose of the meeting, a mihi to the whare tūpuna or mihi to the building, to the marae, and uh, to uh, all the ancestors um, who have uh, been a part of the marae. A mihi to Papa Tuanuku, Mother Earth and all living things, a metehunga mate of the dead who live on in the spirit realm, and live on within us as well. Mete hunga ora, mehi to the hunga ora of the living and giving eternal thanks. So they are separated, the dead and the living. Uh, the purpose of the hui is also uh, generally in the fai kōrero and the groups gathered, acknowledging all the different groups. And in some cases, it could be multi. Uh, waya tahimene, of course, to lend support to what has been said. Nō reira, whakarongo titiro mai. Mena he kōrero a, mō tō iwi me tō hape e tū, kōrero. Mena kāre he kōrero a, me noho. Kuiniki te taonga nui a te Māori whānui ko te whai kōrero. He aha tēnei mea te whai kōrero. Ka wānanga tia te mana o te kupu me te mōhe o te kai kōrero ki te pāoho i tana reo. Hei tā kirikiri i ngā kare āroto o te hunga whakarongo. Tai atu ki te raupapatanga o ana whakāra. Kai kōrero kai tu waka ono ono i te tangata ki ngā kaupapa. Ki te tapu, ki te kaupapa, ki te enua, ki te tangata. Kua uru katoa mai e nei āhuatanga o te taiao ki roto i ngā kōrero. Nā te tapu kai te kūmeo mai e rā āhuatanga ki a pūmau ki roto i ngā kōrero. Kia korea i e ngaro i te unga wakarongo, he kaupapa nui, tatasanga. Te whai kōrero tētehi o ngā 
Diante de um talma, até o Ibar, Karapua Tata, Retagata, Etaia Eia de Coro, Motewi, Motefana, Motehapu. Atutahi, Kiapuaga, Kiatakuruara, Regi Hiaitakate. Ko te korau a tuatahi pea ka atu i runei tana pai, kai kōrero o tana pai, kui a te mauri o te marai, o tana hapū. Ko nga kōrero katoa o te hapū, kai iaia. Kia mohi o mai, te manuhiri whakaeke, a nei te hapū, me ana kōrero, me ana tapu. Me tū mai nuku e ki te mahi i te manawa wera. E nga ki te atau pehi a te marama o tō piu i te kupu e me tō tū. Ai, he nui nga tamata ande ko tūhi au a rātou. Ko ero kua wāna nau i o rātou taha. Ko aku i a rātou ki te tū, ki te whakaputa i te kōrero. I runa i taku. Mā taki taki noeho i a kupākeke e whai kōrero ana. I runei taku noho puku ki te whakarono ki a rātau i whai kōru ana. Ko aronau i e tahi kōru a he pai tērā. Ka pupuri hi au ki rotu i au. Kaore koa ko te mau nu tana o te tani whā i te rua koha. Taiwa, taiwa, taiwa. Kei te noe kore rawa. Maro ki rawa. Whaka kōru hi a tō kanohi. Tō tinana. Kia mui a rātau. He mui o koe kei te kōru koe mo te aha. Mahi ano māko koe āpina, kia kaha ake. Te mei nui i roto i te whai kōrero, kia rangona te reo. Nō rea, kia kaha tō reo. Kau e tū kōrero ōpaki nea, ah, tēnā haere mai, ah, pai te ki te atu i kia koe. E rā tū momo kōrero, kupu, rārangi kōrero na kao. Me tiki atu rā koe, ngā rangi tū hā hā. Ko tata manu hini tu wārangi haena mai. Ko tata urā, ko aura mai i tēnei wahanga. Kia tomo ki a rātou tātou whare, te tumu heranga waka. Nei rā te reo mihi, a karanga nei. A mihi nei, haena mai, haena mai, haena mai. Me putu i tō mana. Hana i tō koro koro a whakaaro nei i rote kao. I rote i tōpuku. Kia puta mai rā, i reira tō reo, kia kaha ake, kia rāngona, kia pono. Kei te moe o taewa i te reo o te marae, ko te reo ōkawa te rā, ko nga tau paraparo i rā, ko nga whakatau ki a nga hapū. Me te tiki atu i te reo o te nahere, ko te reo ōkawa te rā, kei te kaha o mātau, mātau pāpa me o mātau tsunāne, ki te whakahoki mai i nga tau parapara, ki te whakahoki mai i te reo tapu o te marae, ki runa i o nga tau pae. And there we have it. The versions or the explanation of whai kōrero. There is a difference between a mihi, even a formal mihi, and a fai kōrero. So hopefully you were able to hear that uh, the, the importance of fai kōrero. This is a real oratory um, uh, display, let's say. Uh, some people might like to call it a performance, and sometimes it is, sometimes it's good, and sometimes it's not. Uh, that poor young man uh, who was <laughs> in front of those two queer, those two uh, elderly women, um, and she stopped him and said, wait, 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 that's too soft and it's boring. So, <laughs> you know, I've heard a few boring by Kōrero um, and uh, there are many. So uh, this is a teaching tool uh, uh, for, um, I guess, Māori. We're using it. Māori Television ran a series on it, um, teaching our younger people who are living in urban context now and they're not on the marae much anymore so in order for them to learn they're not down the marae all the time 
like I was when I was a child. Um, uh, the only way for them to learn is to watch series like that. So a uh, very powerful uh, explanation of um, Fai Kōrero. But we'll move on uh, with our pieces of uh, scripture that we'll be uh, using this coming Sunday. And this is Chris. Te pānei ke te waiata a horomona, te rua o nga upoko, ka tīmata ko te fiti tui tua waru. Ko te reo rā o tāku e aroha nei, nā nā, te haere mai nei ia, e tu peke peke ana i runga i ngā maunga, e moko fiti ana i runga i ngā puke puke. Rite tonu tāku e aroha nei ki te ana te rope, ki te kuau hata rā nei. Tēnei ia te tū mai nei i muri o tō mātou tai epa, e mā takitaki mai ana i ngā matapihi, e whakāta mai ana rā roto i te mea ri peka peka. Whakarongo ki te kupu a te wairua ki te hāhi, you okay to carry on, Chris? All right. <laughs> te pānui ke te waiata a horomona, te rua o nga upoko, ka tīmata te kau. I kōrero mai taku e aroha nei, i mea mai ki a hau. E ara, e tāku ipo, e tāku mea a tāhua, ka haere mai. Nā nā, kua pāhemo te hōtoke, kua mutu te ua, kua kore. Whakarongo ki te kupu a te wairua ki te hāhi. Whakapainga te ato. And one more. Ai. Te pānui ki te waiata a horomona te rua o ngā upoko, ka tīmata te kaumārua. Kua puta nga pua wai ki te whenua, kua tata te wā e korehi ai nga manu, a e rāngonga ana te reo o te kūkupa ki tō tātou whenua. Kua kōpuku nga hua hau o te piki, kua puaka nga waina e kakara mai nei. Maranga e tōku hoa e tāku mea a tāhua, Haere mai hoki, whakarongo ki te kupu a te wairua ki te hāhi, whakapainga te ato. O rawe, rawe, tino pai, Chris. Gee, your reo is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Thank you so much. Very aspirational for all of us, really inspirational for all of us to... You know, that's how it's done. Uh, he, he slowed it down. I think that's key. It, there's a, a tendency to want to kind of just say it all really quickly. Um, but uh, Chris was very deliberate and very rhythmic in the way that it was delivered. And as a result, he was able to give mana to many of those vowels. He was able to say puawai, you know, and, and not get sort of caught up with puawai, puawai. Um, so thank you, Chris. Wow, that's a great... Great, great example. Ngā mihi nō nui kia koe, kia koe, aroha nui. Okay, so let's now take a journey into the Chambers of Parliament. The Māori Party rose to the public attention in 2004 in protest at Labour's decision to pass the Foreshore and Seabed Act. In the view of the party's founding leaders, Tariana Turia and Peter Sharples, the new legislation violated Māori customary title over the country's coastline. At the 2005 general election, the Māori party won four of Parliament's seven Māori seats. Then in 2008 and 2011, Turia and Sharples became ministers in John Key's minority national government. Upon retirement at the 2014 election and by 2017, Labour had regained all 
the Māori seats. In 2020, the Māori Party won one of them back and secured a second MP on the basis of its party vote. The seat is shared by co-leaders Debbie Ngārewa Peka and this man, Rawiri Wi Kuki Waititi. This gentle giant is first and foremost a family man. But Fano Farawadi extends well beyond his wife Kiri and Tamariki. It encompasses his hapu, his iwi, and the wider Waiariki Rohe. A Portuki born and raised in Whangaparawa at 13, he was sent to Auckland and stayed with his aunt, Dame June Mariu. He married John Tamihere's daughter, Kiri, and Herima Tamariki Arawa. I'm not going to translate that for you. Rima is a number. Tamariki. He gave up rugby when kapahaka became his priority. A singer and a guitarist, he spent almost two decades with Tefano Apanui, which became the supreme winner at Te Matatini in 2005 and again in 2015. He earned his master's degree in Mātauranga Māori at Te Wānanga o Raukawa and went on to work there as a lecturer. So let's hear a short snippet from the man himself as he delivers an address in chambers. Whakarongo titiromai. Mr. Speaker. I've, I've been looking forward to this because I know that you can't sit me down for the fifth time. <laughs> But I won't test you. <laughs> because you're magic, you're magic people to me. You're magic people to me. Hold your head up high, let your voices fly. I'm proud to be Māori. Proud to be Māori. I want to at this time to be to a true, to a true political hero of the Ao Māori, Dame Tariya Naturia, who courageously walked across the very floor, this very floor, and stood up for her people. She stood up against the degradation of the mana o te iwi Māori, mo te tahuna, o te takutai moan. Her unapologetic voice and commitment to te iwi Māori is the very reason why I am here and representing the party Māori as the new member of parliament for Te Wairiki. Her courage has inspired a whole generation and her act of bravery continues to inspire me today. I stand in this house and I feel the presence of our Kroa, Suapira Nangata, an iwi and political leader who had no bounds. His drive for the betterment and the citizenship of his people came at great sacrifice. For God, for King and for country was the call to arms for the price of citizenship. Ake ake kia kahai. So Apira Nangata argued that Māori support of the war effort was the ultimate way to honour the treaty and gain equality with and respect of Pākehā. 75 years later, we are still arguing the validity of our participation in the great walls, the place names that decorate the very walls of this house. Has the treaty been honoured? Did we gain the respect of Pākehā? Article 1, consent to the Crown to custodianship and to kāwanatanga, not ownership, nor sovereignty. Article 2 was the, was the security of the absolute mana of tangata whenua of Aotearoa. Our land, our rivers, our sea, our forest, our traditions and practices, our people, our mokopuna. Article 3 was about equality, that Māori would be treated as equal citizens in Aotearoa. The great white shark Pākehā and the Kahawai Māori, the great white shark said to the Kahawai, should we form a partnership 
The Kahawai replied, yes, that sounds like a fantastic idea. The great white shark then ate the Kahawai and said, now we are one. Now that now the largest media publisher in Aotearoa stuff has publicly apologized for the way it has portrayed Māori over the past 160 years, after an internal investigation uncovered evidence of racism and marginalization, in its representation of the country's indigenous people, the true indigenous people, Tewi Māori, Mr. Speaker. They have said sorry to Māori for the monocultural viewpoint that has sought to oppress Tangata Whenua. They have said sorry to Māori for continuing to create and reinforce the negative narrative of Tangata Whenua that keeps our people at the bottom of the heap. They have said sorry to Māori for aiding and abetting the system of racism that strips us of our spirit and our oranga. But Mr. Speaker, they have taken responsibility for their failings. They have owned their failings and they have made a commitment to do better. My question to you, Mr. Speaker, and to this House, is when will the Crown do the same? When will the Crown say they are sorry to Māori for the monocultural viewpoint that has sought to oppress Tangata Whenua? When will the Crown say they are sorry to Māori for continuing to reinforce the negative narrative of Tangata Whenua? When will the Crown say they are sorry to Māori for aiding and abetting the system of racism that strips us of our spirit and our oranga? When will the Crown take responsibility for their failings? When will the Crown own their failings and commit to doing better? In closing, Mr. Speaker, our tipuna from the Whakatohea Mukomoko was wrongfully convicted and tried for the death of Reverend Faulkner in Oportiki, whose head was decapitated. But because he looked like the, prep, the perpetrator and his rope was found at the scene of the crime, he was imprisoned in Mount Eden and hung to death. Mr. Speaker, Māori have had enough of being assimilated and forced to do and look like everyone else. We are not like everyone else. We are unique. Being Māori is like having superpowers. There's no one else in the world like us. And we need to maintain who we are. Before they hung our tipuna mokoboko, he uttered the words, Tangohia te taura i taku kaki. Kia waiata au i taku waiata. Tangohia te taura i taku kaki. Kia waiata au i taku waiata. Which means, take the noose from around my neck so that I may sing my song. Therefore, I will adorn myself with the treasures of my ancestors and remove the colonial noose around my neck so that I may sing my song. Nā reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou tato. Rawiri lost the seat of Waiariki to Māori Party co-leader Te Ururoa Flavel in the 2014 general election. 2020, he assumes office as a member of the New Zealand Parliament for Waiariki and became a party co-leader of the Māori Party on November the 16th, 2020, and a member of Māori Affairs in December. On January the 3rd this year, he escorted 16 prisoners who surrounded, uh, sorry, who surrendered after protesting at Waikeria Prison in Waikato by lighting fires and getting onto the prison roof. You may remember that event. In February this year, the House of Representatives Speaker Trevor Mallard ejected him from parliamentary proceedings for refusing to wear a necktie in line with the parliament's business attire dress code. He instead wore a hei tiki, a Māori business attire. Because of the incident, wearing ties in parliament has become compulsory. 
but that's a, a, a snippet of uh, this man, uh, Rawiri Waititi. Uh, I've never talked to him. I've seen him at a distance. He's quite a, a, a big sort of, um, he's got a presence anyway about him. Uh, he will be a force to be reckoned with in government. Um, I don't know if you saw some of the people sitting in chambers there, some of his Māori colleagues from the Labour Party and from the Green Party. Uh, they seem somewhat subdued, and that's okay. That's okay. Um, and of course, the whole gallery upstairs was filled with Māori. And if I, if you go to that um, YouTube, if you're interested anyway, go to that uh, YouTube. And if you have a look at some of the faces of the uh, Māori up in the gallery, you, you may even recognise some of them. Um, a very powerful uh, delivery. Uh, and uh, before we close, I, I would like to open up the floor. If you've got anything that you might like to say or add to that delivery on um, Rawiri, please do. Kia ora tātou. Um, Rawiri is an inspiring um, speaker and if you watch Te Ao Marama and programs like that, he's often invited on um, to make comment on, on the things of the day. Um, I'd just like to encourage you to vote for the Māori Party. Pākehā are allowed to vote for the Māori Party and um, uh, for me, he, he's um, a wonderful um, person. Um, you know, he's, he's kind of how New Zealand should be or how Aotearoa should be. Kia ora tato. Kia ora, Chris. <clears throat> Just touching a little bit on, on, on when he was, um, you know, holding his tie up in the air. Mm. Uh, that incident uh, uh, that he referred to is uh, moko moko. Uh, it's part of our history. We've had it uh, in our theological deliveries, historical talks at St. John's College and various other uh, places within Te Hahi Mihingare. Um, um, you can look it up. I'm not going to unpack it for you. Just Google it and you'll find the story. There's a book available at the General Senate office where I work. Um, and you'll be able to obtain a book. And if you're really, really, you know, say, oh, look, it's all part of my education, then you may even get it for free. <laughs> um, but Moko Moko was actually accused wrongly. Um, it, it, he was vindicated of that, uh, don't quote me, but possibly about 10 years ago, possibly more, um, for the killing of Reverend Volkner. And there is a, a book, uh, it's not on my shelf here, it's on my shelf at work, uh, called Wagner. Uh, it's quite a tragic story. Um, and, uh, you know, that uh, I thought Rawiri used his closing comments, the closing comments of Moko Moko, really well uh, in terms of what he was trying to achieve here. That we don't look, uh, you know, his thrust here was not to assimilate or ask Māori to look like what they're not. So, anyway. Food for thought. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Jillian. It's a bit of a hard act. Ooh. Bit of a hard act to follow. Te rangangi o te rang. No runga na homai tanga papai katoa. Na me katoa etino tiko ana. He mea heki iho no tematoa o inga pakamarama. Kahore nei ona putanga ketanga. Kahore oki te atarangi o te tahuri. Me. Sorry, did I change too early? No, no, it's all right. No, okay. I'm finished. <laughs> te inui o te rā. 
etematua mahaki fakaturia o matohara etu kahekine kia pai ai tamato faki i oahara kia mohia ai ki te hohonutanga me te fai rara oto atafai e kinoi anamato i roto i a ihu karaiti tomato ariki amine amen lovely thank you Jillian thank you and I think you've got a good pace too when you when uh, I'm noticing that uh, as you when you slow it down you're able to to then look at the word in its entirety rather than the sentence um and 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 that will help you in terms of um you know all of us if we uh just look at the word in its entirety and then that way you can give mana to each let each of those vowels that I talk about more heal the word rather than how it fits into the sentence you know really a nice emphasis and even a pause you know that sort of um i mean i don't know whether you whether you take pauses whether you put um your own um voice projection into your sentences and colleagues um, in English. I'm not sure. I do, certainly, or any readings that I do. I actually pause where I think there's meant to be a pause, maybe. Um, it's the same with Māori rather than, you know, I try not to sort of keep it going at a, at a monotone, let's say. But lovely. Thank you, Gillian. Um, I have to leave because I'm due in a clergy meeting. No problem. But thank you. Thank I'll you, Kia you Okay, Kira. okay. So uh, can someone close us with the grace, please? Um, yeah, the Now you go, you can. Okay. Kia tau kia tato Te atavai o to tato ariki a ifu karaiti me te aroha o te atua me te weavinga atianga ki te wairua tapu ake 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 amine. Amine. Thank you, Yukiku. I'll just take us back to, uh, uh, we have closed, but uh, I just want to take us back to this himini. Um, um, which we can learn.
lovely himene, that one written by Sir Kingi Ihaka, uh, sung by the Anglican Māori Choir. Uh, there's another perhaps challenge for your choir within your ministry units or a group of people, it doesn't have to be the whole choir, just a, if they choose just a group of people, show them this clip and uh, encourage them to learn it and see if they, they can, uh, you know, they've got all the parts there. Um, I don't know where the music is, but certainly the parts are there. Um, and it's four part harmony. Um, perhaps they might be able to sing it sometime in the future. Um, uh, Noreda Etefano, uh, lovely, lovely to have you again with us. It's great. Kia ora ngā mihi nui ngā mihi aroha ki a koutou mō tēnei wai pai ki te kiti a koutou. Uh, just letting you know I'm, uh, I'm not doing a whai kōrero. <laughs> You'll hear that guy, he said, you know, oh, whai kōrero, you don't stand up and go, oh, kia ora, welcome, oh, it's lovely to see you. Yeah, that's not a whai kōrero. That's a mihi, a friendly mihi to somebody. And so we do that at the beginning, that really, that first mihi. Um, and then the formal mihi is still, is still formal, but it's not a fai kōrero. It's not a true fai kōrero because you've got to have all the, you know, I love the way how that gentleman uh, jumped up. You know, he jumped. Uh, I've seen that happen too. And, and, and uh, by the way, that does impress us ladies. It does. Because <laughs> it does show that they're rather fit and they're probably able to maybe, um, you know, put a few nails and a few bits of wood somewhere and they might be quite handy on the farm or something like that. <laughs> so it is showing dexterity and their health, really. Uh, but it's all part of that, uh, you know, that oratory flair, let's say. And it's impressive. It is when good orator, it's wow. I love it. I love it. By all means, unmute yourself and, and, and 